Dr. Janetta B. Cole. Sister President. Thank you so much for having me in your home. My joy. I've been thinking recently, knowing that you were coming and that we would have this conversation. I've been thinking about what does the Kettering Foundation's language of inclusive democracy really mean? When you think about inclusive democracy, what do you think about? Well, my sister friend, we need to be finding ways not to give up our own ideas and our own values, but to understand that others could have different ideas and different values, but that we've got to find some common ideas in the interest of this democracy. That really is for all of us. And it certainly means my right and my responsibility to be deeply, deeply engaged in the ongoing struggle for full freedom, full justice, full equity for black people. But it also means that I have a responsibility to understand and as best I can participate in other struggles. Yeah, well, this country has been on a journey towards inclusive democracy from the very beginning. And when our founding documents were, were first inked, they were the ideal of democracy that we had to actually make our way toward. And every time we became a bigger pool who are entitled to all the rights and responsibilities of democracy, we move towards the fullness of, of that. And the goal for us, I guess maybe still challenge, is to continue in that direction and not to go back. Exactly. We are now at a point when we actually have the amazing possibility to have a democracy that is just bursting with the power and the preciousness, not only of everyone being acknowledged, but everyone being lifted up. Collaboration is so much better than just having to do it all yourself. That's exactly how we, we see it. The history of the United States is happily filled with that kind of example, too. It's not just sad chapters. The abolitionists who were determined to help end slavery, those folks who walked allies alongside black folks in the middle of the civil rights era, right? Who, who crossed those bridges knowing that they could be beaten and so our, our history is filled with those folks who considered it a part of their responsibility as members of a democratic society. I can tell you everything the textbook says about democracy, but it never said, and then it's done. It is not done because it has yet to be fully inclusive. Democracy is such a powerful concept and process, but it is fragile and they do die. We've got a real responsibility right now to make sure we don't lose this democracy. <laughs>